what's the best way to eat? Is it healthier to have meals or healthier to have food spread out throughout the day or what I like to call grazing? First, I think you need to define what exactly is the difference between a meal and grazing. For me, a meal can be two things. It can be the amount of calories that you take in or the amount of mass that you take in. I believe that if you're eating more than a thousand or fifteen hundred calories at one time, that should be considered a meal. And I also believe that if you're eating, let's say for me as an athletic male, more than five pounds of one type of food or many types of food, that could also be considered a meal. But there are ways to eat five pounds of food where your calorie intake is very low such as the fact if you're going to eat a lot of cucumbers or if you're going to have a massive salad or lots of tomatoes. Uh, Michael, what are you doing? Uh, uh, is that for mopping the floor? Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's your dinner. <laughs> Look at the fork. <laughs> Want to try some? Oh, my God. Now, if anyone could see how big this is. It looks like a big garbage pail. Those are all low-calorie fruits. And it still should be considered a meal in my eye because if you put five pounds of anything inside your body, your body's gonna have a reaction. The same goes that if you put a small amount of mass in your body, but very high amount of calories, such as if you have a lot of bananas blended with dates or just a lot of dried dates or lots of persimmons. If you put a lot of calories in your body, your body's gonna have to take energy away from other things to digest the food, even if it's food that's easily digested. And if you eat a lot of food that doesn't have a lot of calories in it, it's going to still slow you down just because you're going to be so preoccupied with this massive amount of food that you've just put in your body. Now I've done both methods of eating, where I graze all day and when I eat meals. And I've now in the conclusion that for me as an athlete, I prefer to graze all day. By grazing, I don't ever eat too much at one time, so I don't ever feel like I'm going to pop or I just ate so much I can't do anything else. I've just got to sit here and let my body just absorb or digest or move the food through myself. And I don't ever eat so many calories at one time that I get almost sedated from the effect of eating so much food. Now, even though eating fresh, natural, high water content fruits, it's easy to digest. It still takes digestive energy to absorb all these calories at one time. So for me, grazing is the best option that I've found. For me, grazing is pretty much eating at a what I would call a slow pace all day long. If I'm not sleeping and if I'm not exercising, I seem to always have some food around. I'm either at my desk at work with 10 or 15 oranges to my left or to my right, maybe some cucumbers or some, some melon somewhere nearby, and I just kind of eat. I might type a couple emails or talk on the phone for a little bit, and every 5, 10, 15 minutes in between whatever I'm doing, I just peel an orange or eat some strawberries or have some grapes or cut up a melon. And I find it works very well for me. I never find myself very hungry. I just kind of enjoy eating. And I find that it's more natural. I find that that is what animals do in nature. They look for food, they find some food, they eat it, and they keep looking for more food. And of course, people might say, oh, well, if you were in nature and you came upon an apple tree, you just have to gorge on all the apples. Well, I don't know if that was really true in nature. If you came upon an apple tree, I think you'd eat as much as you wanted, then you'd maybe collect some, carry it with you. But I like to think that animals in nature tend to have the best options for us to follow. And most animals eat all day long. They don't stuff themselves so they feel sick or they're going to explode from sticking so much food down their mouths. Grazing tends to be something that has worked well for me. And I realize for people starting out on a fruitarian diet, they've got to make sure that they're getting in enough calories throughout the day. And counting calories when you're grazing can certainly take a lot of mental uh, time just in focusing on what you're eating. And I've actually had a piece of scrap paper by my desk, and every time I need to eat another orange, I just kind of make a check box or a check mark and, and it 
a couple hours later, I'll kind of figure out how many oranges I ate. And you still can keep track of your calories while grazing throughout the day. But I would say that my grazing way of eating is more kind of an evolution of my fruitarianism. And I don't know if I would recommend it for people starting out. It works well for me, mainly because I exercise so much and I pretty much almost need to eat all day long if I'm going to get in all the calories that I require. If I sat down to have three meals a day and only three meals a day, I would have to eat close to 2,000 calories each meal just to get in my bare minimum requirements. And when you're eating mostly high water content fruits, 2,000 calories is a tremendous amount of food to put in your body and it would almost be painful to eat that much at each meal. When you graze, you also enjoy the simplicity of the food that you're eating. A lot of people enjoyed cooking when they ate cooked food, but when I turned to fruitarianism, I found that the simplicity of the diet is something that was a great attraction to me. And initially, I tried to continue chopping up things and making complicated dishes and trying to prepare food as I had been so used to doing when I ate a vegan diet or a cooked or high-fat raw diet. But when you graze, you don't really have time to chop things up. And you just tend to eat the food as it was made in nature. And I just find it more peaceful, more natural. And I don't get preoccupied with preparing or prepping food. It just feels right. I think your body has a lot better time self-regulating itself when you graze. Every time you eat a large meal, when you're taking a tremendous amount of calories that you don't immediately need to do whatever you're doing, I think your body kind of goes into a little bit of a shock and it doesn't know what to do with all the, all the calories that it's taking in. When you graze, you kind of just feel good all day. You never feel really hungry. You never feel really full. You just kind of feel good all the time. And I think that's natural. I think your body has an easier time eating this way.